Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question, somebody was asking us how to get two drop down menus on mobile. Right here we've got two menus at the top here, we've got a secondary, the blue one at the top, and a primary, the white one here. If we take a look on mobile, I'm using Google Chrome here with the inspector tools, if I hit F12, I can bring up my inspector tools and hit my little responsive toggle. If we look at it on a, we're looking at an iPhone 12 there, we've just got the one menu, or one drop down I should say, and it's incorporated both menus into it. There's our secondary, history, gallery, team, and there's our primary. Let's put them all into one. Somebody was asking how we can have two drop downs on mobile. I'm not quite sure why they want this, but it's pretty easy to do. So I've done another one here. And if we look at this on mobile, you'll notice that we've got two drop downs here. Here's our primary, got a little drop down for the primary here, and a drop down for the secondary here. Really easy to do, so get, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. To do this today, we're going to go to the theme builder. To get to the theme builder, go to your dashboard. Once in your dashboard, go down to Divi, and there you'll find theme builder. Go ahead and click on it. It'll take us to this page right here. If we take a look at our original here, we've got a secondary and a primary menu. You could actually get rid of the secondary and just add a menu module underneath. But then you'd have to copy and paste it to all pages and make it a global item. We're going to use the theme builder so this way it'll automatically be at the header on all of our pages. So I'm going to scrap the one I've just done, hit the little trash can item, and I'm going to hit the little add global header button. Build global header. Okay, and by default it puts in a section, a little blue tab there. We've got to add a little row, the green tab, and inside the row, I'm going to add a little module. I'm going to use the menu module. I'm going to keep this very simple today. We're not going to do much in the way of styling. There's the menu module. Let's click on it. Now this is going to be my top one up here, the secondary. Obviously if you want yours on the bottom of your primary, we'll make the top one the primary. But I'm going to make my top one here the secondary. And I've got two menus saved. And obviously for anybody that doesn't know, you create your menus under appearance and then go to menus. And I've got two menus, I've got primary and secondary. So if we go back to our theme builder, this secondary is going to be on the top, so I'm going to assign the secondary menu to that one. Great. I don't want a logo on this one because it's my secondary menu. Obviously, if you do want a logo, put your logo in there. I'm going to leave that just as it is. I'm going to save this. I'm just going to align this to the middle by going to Design, Layout, Left Align, Let's pop it into the center, that's great. Now I'm going to go into my section itself and give this a background color similar to the one we had before. So to go into the section, just click on the field, blue tab for the section. Right on the content tab, first page there, I'm going to go down to background. You can add a color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. I'm simply going to use a color for mine today. I'll make it the default blue. And as you can see, that's huge, and I don't want it that big, so let's fix that. I'm going to go to my design now and take away any padding that's there. So if we go down to design and spacing, here's padding. I'm simply going to put a zero in the top there. I'm going to hit the chain, and it'll do the same on the bottom. That's taking any padding away from the section. It's still a lot wider than I want it. And we've got a background white in here too. Save our settings, and if we click towards the middle here, let's go into the row, the green tab for the row. I'm going to take away some more padding. Again, I'm going to go to the design tab to spacing. I don't want to take all of that away. If I take all of that away, it'll be a little too short, I think. So if I put a zero in, we'll have a look. There we go. Actually, that's not too bad, but I don't want that background color in our menu here. So that's fine. I'll leave the row just as it is. I'm going to go into our menu now, dark tab for the module, which is the menu. And I'm going to take the background away. We roll down, there's the background, still on the content tab. Little trash can, we'll take that white default background away. 
And let's make that text perhaps white in color so we can see it. So I'm going to go to my design. Here's the menu text. Active link, I'm going to keep that white. And the menu items, I want those to be white too. Great. Well, that's our sort of top one, or what was the secondary menu taken care of. Let's add the main menu now. And to do that, I'm going to add a new section. So just click up here. A little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to use a single column on this again to keep it simple. Again, I'm going to use that same menu module because this will be our sort of primary menu with logo. And it's already put my default top menu in there. Again, you can select whatever you menu you want here. I do want my logo in this one. So I'm going to add the logo. We're still on the content tab here. Hit the add image. Roll on down. There's my little logo. And that's way too big there. And I'd kind of like to have this perhaps centered in its menu box here. So let's go over to our design now. Here's the menu text. If I roll down a little bit, I'm going to line mine to the middle of its little column there. I'll leave the color as what it was there. Let's go down to space sizing now. And I'm going to make that logo a lot smaller. I'm going to say perhaps, let's have it 200 pixels wide, 200 px, maybe 250. Obviously you get yours the size you want it. Let's have a look at it on tablet and mobile. This is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing once you're in there, you should see some logos appear. Go to the element you want to affect, which in my case is the width here. And we'll roll on the little mobile phone icon. And you can select tablet and mobile. So I'm going to hit the phone right here. Just want to see what it's going to look like. It's not too bad, a little bit big on the phone. So let's take that down to maybe 200 on a phone. Yeah, that works for me. Obviously, it's too wide top and bottom, but that bit's absolutely fine. Let's go back to our desktop now. Okay, let's save our little menu settings there. I'm happy with that. And again, we're going to go into the section. I'm going to take most of that padding away, if not all of it. So let's go in there. Design. Spacing. And again, I'm going to put a zero in there. And hit the change. I will put a border on the bottom, or a slight border, just so you can see where the bottom of this is. Still in our design tab. I can shut up spacing. And just below we've got border. You can do all at once here, or you can do them individually here. Top, right, bottom, and left. I just want to put one on the bottom. I'm going to have it just a pixel wide. There it is. And it's a little too dark, so I'm going to hit the black color there going to go in and this variegated slider here is opacity or transparency. I'm going to take that pretty much all the way down so it's just a little light grey line. That's okay. I think it's still slightly wide for me at the top there. So let's save our changes here. Let's go into the row. We've taken all the spacing away from our section there. So let's go in the row which is the green tab again. And we'll go into spacing here and we'll knock that back a little bit top and bottom. Let's try 10 top and bottom maybe too much. Actually that works out quite fine. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously if you want more or less just put a smaller number in there. That works too actually. I think my logo might be still a little bit too big but I'm going to leave it just like that. So when you're happy with your menu I'm not going to spend any more time decorating this. Obviously the decoration is up to you. Save your changes there. Save my road changes. Go down to the little purple button. Save the changes there. Hit the little X. And we're back here again. Make sure all the changes are saved with a little green button up here. And we've created ourselves a nice little global header there. So here was the original. I know we're not exactly the same. I haven't pushed these. I've just done this very quickly today. So if I refresh this page, we'll have our new menu now. And because it's global, it'll be on all of the pages. So there's our new one. Like I say, I haven't pushed these left, but it gives you the idea. Now, if I hit my F12 and we take a look at it on mobile, 
we've got our two little drop downs there. And there's a little issue there slightly. Looks like our top one is behind the bottom one. But we can fix that with what they call a bit of Z index. And also it looks like I need to give this a background color too. So this is working, but this one, I'm not seeing my menu items here. So let's firstly try giving it a background color, see if that makes any difference. Let's go back into our theme builder. Okay, what we need to do is go into our little menu up the top here. This is the one that we're not seeing very well there. We'll go over to our design and to drop down menu here. Now the first one we see here is the regular one, but we want the mobile version because we've got no actual drop downs on these. If we had more items, sub items, that would be a drop down. We want the mobile, which if we roll down is right here. Mobile menu background color, well, let's use that same blue and we'll make sure it's got white text this time. Let's make sure that this is gonna work. So we'll save our changes again. Hit the little save. X out. Let's go back in here now and quickly going to refresh. Let's have a look now. If we click on that hamburger menu, okay, we can still see it, but our logo is still in front of it. So we need to z change our Z indexes. So what a Z index is, let's say this top menu has a Z index of five, and the one below it has a Z index that's lower than five, four, three, two, one, zero, or negative numbers. The one with the higher number is always going to appear on top. So that's what we need to do for this. Just flip the Z index, make sure that they're the right way around. So we go back in. And I'm actually going to go into the section this time. I want the top section. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab, down to position. If we roll down a bit here, we've got a Z index. So we're in the top one, the blue one. We want this to be on top. Let's make that 500. Put in whatever number you want, but you want to make the second one lower. Now, if we go into this section now to advanced position, Z index, we'll make this one say 450, a lower number. Save our changes, save the page changes, X out, make sure everything's saved. And let's refresh this and try that again. And let's have a look now. And there we have it. That's fine. It's over the top of our little logo and everything. Of course, the other other thing to fix this if you have Z-index problems is just put the blue one on the bottom. <laughs> that would take care of that. And that's working fine too. So you've got two separate menus there. So there you go, I hope that's answered your question. Really easy to do, nice little feature. It's a great idea having a global header too, but that way you can have two drop downs. I'm not quite sure why you wanted that, but that's how to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.